Hello, Bob Allison here, WB1 GCM, ARRL test engineer at the ARRL laboratory. Let's take a look at two Palstar antenna tuners. Well, here it is, the AT2KD antenna tuner. It's just a two dialer, roller inductor, variable capacitor, six position antenna switch. Has a, a uh, bypass switch so you can bypass the tuner too. And of course, this does balanced line. Here's your meter switching either 300 watts full scale or 3000 watts full scale. Has an average and a peak reading here and a peak hold button. Let's take a look at the back side. We'll spin it right around. And here we have the antenna post, their coaxial input from your transmitter, and the various outputs here, even, even a bypass. Here's your 12 volt DC in. And uh, let's take a look at the goods inside. Aha. Look at the size of that massive capacitor. That's very handsome. And the roller inductor operates very smoothly. So that was the Palstar AT2KD. Let's put that aside and bring up the next antenna tuner. Take a look at its brother. It's a three dialer. How's that look, Mr. Cameraman? Good? Okay. Very good. Now three dialer here, roller inductor and two variable capacitors. It's a good idea to start out on 50. That's what I do. I use the uh, roller inductor, look for a dip in the SWR, and touch it up here. This also has a six position antenna switch. Meter readings the same as the uh, AT2KD, uh, and same here. And we'll go around the other side, look at the back, and connections are identical to the other antenna tuner. But the goods inside are very beautiful, very nice, capacitors and roller inductor which operates very smoothly. Even though both tuners are designed to withstand two kilowatts of power, it's always important to always tune your antenna and operate the tuner with about 10 or 20 watts going into it. That way it puts a lot less stress on the switches and the roller inductor. I'm Bob Allison, WB1GCM at the ARL Laboratory.